As asked, I'm going to show a few navigation tips for how to go around the photo gallery. So I'm going to go up to the gallery menu option and start off by going for the list of all Australian species. So this is, uh, not surprisingly, a list of all the species found in Australia and subspecies. And some of them are in white because I have that species or subspecies and you can click on it and go to a page for the species and see the pictures. Other ones are in black because I don't have them. For instance, I don't have a five-barred sawtail. I don't have Ornithopter priamus, even though I saw it in the Iron Range, but I wasn't able to get photos. So I'll just pick one, I'll just take the top one and go up and see the four-barred sawtail. So it starts off by showing um, the thumbnail pictures for that species. The other way into the gallery, going back to the top menu here, is you can see thumbnail photos. So this is thumbnails of all the butterfly species that I've got. It's only one per species, so it's not great as a sort of identification guide because males and females are different, upper sides and undersides. You can't show everything in a little summary like this. You can go down and you can click on any of these species and it will take you to that species page. Uh, there are shortcuts at the top, so if you know that you're, you're interested in seeing the, uh, the nymphalids, then it takes you to there. If I want to go to see the hesperids, it takes me down to that part of the page. There's also a menu at the side, again grouped by families. So if I wanted to open up one, I'll open the nymphalids again. I can scroll down and pick whichever species I'm interested in. Uh, I'm going to open the Lysenids. Uh, so this becomes useful if you want to look at multiple species. So I want to look at I got this Agiris. I can click there and then this Agiris. Click there. So it enables you to go through multiple species very quickly because you can just stay within this menu. Uh, I am going to stay in the Lysenids. And I'm going to open up the page for Hypercryzops delicia because I think it's a lovely butterfly. And there are my photos of that species. So I can scroll down again and see there's quite a lot because I can't help but take photos of it when I see it. So what you can do is any of these pictures, if you click on it, it takes you into a light box slideshow. So I could start, for instance, on, on this one here and I can go forward to the next photo or I can go back to the previous photo. So I, I'll just go back, have a look through a few more shots. Always like that one. Okay, and then I'll just exit out from that. Uh, so the other thing that you can get with this each species page is where, where I have shots of males versus females and larvae and pupae and different subspecies. There are these options at the top of the, the species page that let you apply filters to the pictures. So by default you just get a view of all the pictures that I've got of that species. But with this one, that's a lot of pictures. And say you were only interested in seeing my pictures of pupae of this species. Well you can click on pupae and it shows you I've got a whole four pictures of them. Or you just want to, you want to see the larvae, or just the females. Uh, if I wanted to just see the subspecies Delicia, the southern subspecies, then all I see is now that would be if I had adult. I only have adults of that subspecies, but if I had larvae and pupae of, of that subspecies, they'd show up there as well. So, for instance, for the northern subspecies, it's adults, larvae, and pupae. Or you can just click all and go back and see everything. And that's basically it really. I think it's not that hard to find your way around. But um, people have missed the fact that you can see larger pictures and that you can use filters and everything. So here you go. They're there if you want them.